where did you grow the most Monday night and over the course of the first eight weeks? Probably be my, um, my mental, my mental well-being, I guess, mm -hmm. like staying on to the next, on to the next, not worrying about the last play, on to the next, you know, that short-term memory that a lot of people talk about. Mm -hmm. That's definitely where I grew the most. Are you typically harder on yourself after I am, plays? I okay. am. And I, I still am, but it's mm -hmm. now it's, it's more focused on the next play during a game and, you know, hey, we'll, we'll handle the tape later. Mm -hmm. You talked a little bit about your offensive line coach, Hank Fraley. I think you might have been one years old when he was playing <laughs> in Philly. What did you know about Hank Fraley and, and just his career when he got here to Detroit? Yeah, I mean, it, he's been a legend for, for a long time, right? So, I mean, I, I watched him play in Cleveland mostly because I was a Steelers fan. Um, but, you know, I've, I've known about him for a long time and, and having him as my coach and learning from him has been, it's been unbelievable so far. He's been one of the constants with his franchise over the last few years, how would you best describe him? Oh, calculated, mm -hmm. calculated, definitely. He's, you know, everybody, every O-line coach is a little tenacious in a way, just, you know, getting after their guys and getting after it on the field. But I mean, he's really calculated what he wants to do and achieve in a game plan. And it's, it's been really cool. He is the leader of this offensive line, which has been a little banged up this past season. Mm -hmm. The next, next man up mentality has been full throttle. Mm -hmm. What can you say? about your teammates and what they go through on a daily basis. Most of them, we would never even know that they were hurt playing in these games. Yeah, no, I think that's just the life of the lineman, right? And I think, you know, we have a lot of personalities, like you said, in the room. And um, it's been it's been great to, to kind of hang out with those guys, become friends with those guys. But I mean, we just love what we do, right? If we're hurt, if we're not hurt, we just show up to work and we just try to get better every day, so. For you specifically, where do you want to grow in this mm -hmm. latter part of the season? Yeah, I think my pass pro needs to get better. Okay. I think overall that's something that, that you don't see in the FCS quite as mm -hmm. quite as often. Some real dogs in the in the pass rush game. But you know, I think I think with, with Coach Fraley's advice and all the other guys in the room, I'll I'll improve on that. Quickly. Is that the, the biggest adjustment, the pass rush? No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, the speed and everything. But I mean, it's been great now. So mm -hmm. all right, secret talent that uh, many people may not know about. You're an excellent guitar player. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent guitar player. How I'd long? say I'd say so. Okay. How long <laughs> have you been playing? I play, started playing my freshman year of college. Why? Uh, I love the music. You know, I I don't know why I didn't start playing mm -hmm. before. I just I played piano when I was younger. Didn't really like it. I love the guitar. I love the sound of the guitar. I love you know my favorite band is Nirvana. I love that fuzz, that distortion. It's awesome. And I don't know why I never got into it until my freshman year of college, but I did. Um, and I picked one up, you know, in, in somebody's dorm room. I was going to say, who's guitar? Yeah, yeah. So I just started playing it, and I, you know, went and got my own. And it was pretty crappy at the time, but <laughs> it's gotten a lot better. So, yeah. Favorite song to play on the guitar? Oh, man. Do you sing as well? I, I do. Okay. I, do. I don't sing. I haven't sing. In, but he in, sings. Yeah. Friends in Low Places by Garth, Garth Brooks. Is there any video evidence of this? You know, if they were recording during the talent show, maybe, but okay. I don't think so. Okay, so for the talent show, mm -hmm. you sang. Mm -hmm. It was that song. Mm -hmm. So you didn't have the guitar ready, though. I know, I didn't have the guitar ready. I was, I was bummed. I, did, it's, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to be like, hey, I'm going to go grab <laughs> something. <laughs> I'll be right back, yeah, Coach. I'll, yeah, let me grab something real quick, Coach. I think they would have loved it, it, though. I think they would have too. Maybe another time. Who okay. knows? There, there's probably another opportunity somewhere. All right. Well, I'll bring my guitar out. Right. You were elite in another opportunity. I heard there was a competition for Halloween costumes. Mm. Is this in the building first off, or is this outside of the building? This is in the building. This was in the building. All right. Yeah, right. So there was Sunday. a Halloween costume competition. Yep. Is this mm -hmm. just rookies or who's involved? Rookies. Who? Rookies had to dress up for the Sunday before okay. the Monday night game. Yep. What was your costume? Okay, so I was Cal Naughton Jr. from the movie Caledega Nights. <laughs> okay. My partner in crime was Ricky Bobby. He was, uh, Con he's Connor Galvin. Yes. He was Ricky Bobby. Okay. Um, and it was awesome. Wow. I don't know, we just started quoting off. We took on the persona mm -hmm. of being those NASCAR drivers for the day. And uh, I think it got a lot of people to, to laugh and it was a lot of fun. And you won. We won, yeah. I think it was because a lot of the, the lack of effort from the other rookies, but you know, that's not, I'm not, I didn't say that, so. <laughs> Who was the second best rookie costume then? Oh man, 
There was Spider-Man. Jameer was Spider-Man. Oh. Jack was a hunter guy. Shocker. Laporta was a wizard. Oh, that from is. From Hogwarts. That was pretty good. He had a, a good wand. One. Yeah, I'd say I'd say Sam. He wasn't doing any spells that didn't help him win? Uh, not, no. Okay. No. That's yeah. all right. He could have do, done a couple at least or something. I don't know. Just wave the wand, say some crazy words. I don't even know a Harry Potter spell. That's awesome. But any videos yeah. of this Halloween costume competition? I have pictures, no no videos. All right, we'll get the pictures though. <laughs>